that is seeing a record high house build and these issues being addressed? Question number five, Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And my question is to the Minister of Tourism and asks, what announcements has she made about the government's tourism infrastructure fund? Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr. Speaker, last week I announced that applications are now open for the first round of the government's new $100 million tourism infrastructure fund. With tourism booming, creating employment in our regions and in our cities throughout New Zealand, um, we acknowledge that there is some pressure on infrastructure, and this fund is now open for councils to apply to. Supplementary question, Maureen Pugh. How does the fund work? Speaker. The Honourable Paula Mr Bennett. Speaker, the first round will focus more on helping communities in the most immediate need of assistance. To give an example um, for the mid-sized facilities grant that we previously had for $5.2 million, we were able to get 28 projects underway. This is a $25 million a year fund, so we will be able to have a number of projects, particularly for those councils that have a low ratepayer base but a high visitor numbers. Supplementary question, Maureen Pugh. What other support is the government providing for tourism infrastructure in the regions? Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, Budget 17 also included a $76 million fund for the Department of Conservation. Um, and that is to upgrade tourism infrastructure, which is used by both visitors and New Zealanders, to look at some other short and great walks throughout New Zealand, to advertise that there's more than just the Tongariro crossing, and to acknowledge that there are needs around toilet facilities and car parking. Question number six, James Shaw. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. Does he stand by all his...